<laughs> All right, here we go. Shots up and it's good. Here comes Manikowski coming down across the timeline. Gets it over to Kendig. Nifong. Thompson. Kendig. Manikowski fakes, puts it up, and it's in. <laughs> Rolls all the way around the rim about six times before it goes in. Huh? Manikowski. Dragons tied here early in the game. Zebras start rotating the ball. Thompson strips it. Vanderwell gets the ball. And that's a great steal from Thompson. Manikowski has it. Knife on. Vanderwill out top. Drives, fakes, loses ball, picks it up, kicks it over. Kindig. Sam Manikowski. All right, Manikowski pulls it over to Nifong. Nifong in the corner. Looks, kicks it down. Kendig gets it to Vanderwill. Vanderwill goes up, shoved from behind. All right, there's first foul. And Vanderwill's going to the line shooting two. Yep, first foul for the game is on Reinhold. Vanderwell gets it to fall. Dragons up three to two. All righty, I think we're good to go here. We should be live on Channel Four in Rochester as well as RTC4.com right. and YouTube as well. And Vanderwell hits both of them. And there's going to be a quick timeout. Wow. All right, we got a timeout on the floor. It's uh, 5:52 left to go here in the first. The uh, Dragons are up four to two. And uh, Andy, uh, we did our pregame. <laughs> I guess we weren't on yet. But, Way to uh, go there, Slick. <laughs> uh, what we got here tonight, the Dragons 7-2 and two, taking on the Rochester Zebras at 6-4. And, four. and uh, this is the first meeting between the two schools since March 1st of 1996. <laughs> crazy, crazy. And that was a uh, Warsaw sectional first-round game. The uh, Zebras won that game by a score of 75-69. Back in the good old days when there was only one class. Yep. The next to last year of one class basketball. Uh, none of these kids that are playing here today were even conceived at the time. So, uh, yep. you know, they don't understand what one class basketball and what it was like to go to Warsaw and play a sectional game. And, but, uh, uh, yeah, that's a big school. It was. Uh, <laughs> it was, yeah. So here we go. We're back at it. Uh, Reinhold's going to bring it across for the Zs. Well, the Dragons are up 4 2. Zs. Uh, Come down, and that's twice now. Braden Thompson stripped it last time and then now knocks that one out of bounds. One I, foul in the game so far, and it's on Reinhold, the perfect person to get the first foul for the Dragons' standpoint. I tell you what, I can't say enough good things about Braden Thompson and the way he's grown. Uh, he was a big stud in that Winnemac game, winning yes. the uh, Winter Classic Championship. Uh, not really one of those big scorer types, but, man, he has really come a long way for Coach Mawson. Yeah, he, he does all the little things right. Ryan Holt drives all the way in, shot, misses, and gets his own rebound. That's twice now the second chance points. Now he's shooting two. First foul probably on Thompson. Three. I mean, on Manikowski. Manikowski. be his first team's first. And that's the athleticism of uh, Reinhold that we talked about in the pregame that nobody could hear. Uh, he's 6'3 and, and very athletic. He's got in the gym range. And uh, Ooh, he's short, short on, on that on one. The first one. That's, uh, that's a good sign for the Dragons. Well, both of the main point guards for both teams are the only ones with fouls so far. Gets his form, sets it up, and it's in and out. Thompson with the rebound. And that's odd, but uh, it happens. Dragons come. Trapping. Fakes. Let's it go out. And that's kind of what we saw from uh, the first quarter of the JV game was the trapping defense. And uh, that means if there's two on you, somebody's open. You just got to move the ball quickly to find them. <laughs> Steve's digging in his lunch bag. Kendig, Vanderwill. They look. They're playing high. Gives it the knife on. Puts it in for two. 
That was a good cut, great pass, yes. and a great finish by Owen Nifong. And it's a 6-2 ball game. Reinhold has it, comes across, kicks it out. Dribbles to the corner, kicks it over. Reinhold, they are definitely looking for him to have the ball as much as possible. And that's the reason why right there, puts it in. So the man-to-man -man defense on Reinhold is what they're going to have to do to shut him down. Kendig. He's very multidimensional. Yep. If you shut him down driving, uh, he can shoot the three as well. Sure. Had a huge game the other night in the loss against uh, Whitco. Nifong gets the ball, battles, kicks it out. Manikowski fakes. Dribbles down. Kendig for three. And it's good. Kendig for three. Dragons up 9-4, and they are on fire from the shooting end. That was a well-contested shot by yes. Kendig, too, and he put that over the top of the Rochester player. Ball's come across. Rotates it. Reinhold gets it back in his hands. Caddy corner. Drives, a little shove off, but gets the space, misses. Rebound. Manikowski goes up and pulls it down. Kicks it over to Nifong. Vanderwill. Kendig. For two. Three, and it's good again. Two for two from the three-point line. And the Dragons are absolutely on fire. And listen to the crowd. They're starting to feed off the energy. The Dragons are going to get the defense. Keep it going. Kicks in the corner. Down. Reinhold wants it. Nifong's going to be covering him. Kicks it over. Quick jumper, and it's short. Rebound. Thompson to Manikowski. And there it is. Yep. It's going to be a foul, foul on Bryce Abbott. That'll be his first team second. Andy, one thing the Dragons can't do, and I saw it the other night. I watched the uh, game against uh, Whitco that Rochester ended up losing by one. They had Whitco had a huge lead after the first quarter, and Rochester was able to whittle their way back. back so this isn't it. exactly oh, no. you know, foreign territory for them. So they've got to keep fighting here, the Dragons do, all night long. Well, we noticed how they had to battle through, and there's a block by Reinhold from Winnemac. They had to battle the entire game to mm -hmm. keep that lead, that padded four to six points, up to eight to ten, back down to six. They battled. They kept their composure, and that's where the team is maturing, and that's what's going to really have to be the rest of the night tonight for the Dragons. Manikowski gets the ball out. Kendig for three. Just off the mark. Manik and there's the foul by Nifong. And Kendig, two of three from the three-point line. Number 12, Trey Stasiak, the sophomore, is going to check in. He's going to give uh, Brady Perez a break. And uh, Dragons need to relax, keep their composure, keep the defense going, get in good rebounding position. No second-chance points for the Zebras. Kicks it over, a little base uh, elbow shot, and it's good. Right there off of that. Nice little... 10, 12 footer right there in the corner and puts it in. Senior Austin Utter gets that shot to go down. 12 6 game with 213 left in the first quarter. Cat in the corner, Ken Dig. They're going to start covering Ken Dig quite a bit with good reason. Nifong fakes. Manikowski for three. And it's off the mark. Rebound. Oh, what a rebound from Nifong. Kicks it out to Manikowski. Ken Dig. Vanderwill for three. And it's off the mark, and the Dragons can't depend oh. on just the three-pointer. And that's the second foul. Nifong's got to be smarter than that. He, yep, was, he, reached way, right uh, him. he was blocked out. He came around from behind, and he gets his second foul. So. And he's going to take a quick break. Brayden Thompson uh, and Diego. And Nifong comes out for Lane Bowenbacher. Diego Elgibatia, the 6'5 uh, uh, foreign exchange student from Spain, comes in for the Dragons. Well, we could use what he did at Winnemac and bring a spark to the team when he yep. came in off the bench last time. Reinhold kicks it over in the corner. Here's a three, and that's no good. Rebound, Vanderweel. And that was a very smart play. We just saw it at the other end. And he didn't go over his back to try to get it. He just let him have the rebound. Said, all right, let's get back and set up the defense. Very good play by the Zebras. <laughs> Diego. Notice the quick double yep. team there. They've obviously scouted 
Yes. Ken Dig down to Diego. Oh, foul. That's number 30 again. Two on him. Bryce Abbott picks Big up his deal. second, team's third. Karate chop across the arms, <laughs> Diego. And he'll be coming out. Brady Perez is going to check back in for Abbott. <clears throat> Two fouls. Minute. Minute. 15 left in the first. I don't know why I look up to the scoreboard. I you, got one right You here. got one in front of you, and you got one over there, but you're looking around the camera over here. Dragons get it in. Brandon Will. Caddy corner, Ken Dig open for three, and it's good. Three oh. of four from the three-point line, and he is absolutely eating them up. Ken Dig has outscored the uh, Zebras by three here in the first quarter. And there he goes, a great defensive play, and tips it out of bounds, and the Zebra's going to have to bring it in. Yeah, we saw that in the LaVille game with uh, Ken Dig just uh, really hitting from three-point range. Whoosh. There's not too many coaches out there that would complain with a uh, first quarter three-point percentage of 75%. <laughs> Man. Well, it's Manikowski basically. falls. And it's stolen by Kendig. He's basically unguardable at 6'5". Yeah. Uh, you can't guard that shot. It's really tough to try to get up to block something like that. I mean, you got guys in the NBA at 6'5", shooting three-pointers. Yep. Tipped out of bounds. Tipped out of bounds. Dragon's ball. And so he tipped it out of bounds on the defensive end, goes down, shoots a three, and scores, comes back, and then steals the ball next time down. I mean, you got to like it. You got to just, you just got to love it. One well, shot, so now if an iPhone's back in with the last 35 seconds, the Dragon's going to go for one shot. And then most likely, Bolenbacher will be right back in. Coach Mawson uh, yeah. probably told Owen that he's got to be smart here and don't pick up that third foul. Yes, that would be very, very detrimental to the Dragons. Manikos is going to stand and hold it. We have no issue holding it right now with the uh, nine-point lead. Well, there's not going to be too much of a surprise if they're all over Kendig. Vanderwill. Be more surprised if they weren't. Oh, and it's a steal, and he's going to look at the clock. He's going to lay it in, and he dumps it. Brady Perez with the dunk to uh, round out the first quarter. Uh, Dragons are up 15 to eight. But uh, like I said, you cannot uh, go lightly. You can't go to sleep on the uh, zebras. They'll uh, keep pulling, uh, keep pulling, and uh, you know they're going to come back uh, if that you was don't. A uh, great dunk, two-handed smack, bam. Well, he got up off the ground. You don't see that a whole lot around these parts. Uh, reminds but, uh, me of my old days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first quarter, 15-8, Dragons with the lead. We're going to take a break. You're watching RTC4.com's coverage of Argus Dragons basketball. RTC Fiber Communications is now serving the community of Argus. Now you can enjoy the incredibly fast speed and reliability of fiber internet. Stream movies, surf the web, or watch your favorite local videos on rtc4.com. All from RTC Fiber Communications, now serving Argus. Give RTC a call today or check us out online at www.rtc1.com. All right, welcome back. We're getting set for second quarter action here at Phil Waybright Gymnasium. Dragons are up 15 to eight behind three of four from the three point line by Ian Kindig. He's got nine. <laughs> He's uh, still Manikowski, him, yeah. Manikowski with two, Vanderwill with two, and Nifong with two. And we just saw right there going into the break, Perez with the uh, breakaway dunk Big for ball. the Zebras. And Perez is not that tall. Uh, uh, six, six two. two. Well, yeah, that's pretty darn tall. Yeah. Coming from a guy who's 5'10". Ah, man. Yeah, it was I a would, nice jump, I, I nice could, dunk. I could never do that at 6'2", but uh, <laughs> some people have the gift of jump. Some, and uh, some height, yep. They made a movie about me in the 80s, Andy. I don't know if you remember that yeah. or not. But White Wesley Snipes, and yeah, they were, uh, they were all about my life right yep. there. Dragons, man-to-man. -man. Well, second chance here for the Zebras. Prez has it. Ooh, just about traveled. That's the man they want to shoot, and he's off. Rebound, Kendig. Pulls it over, gives it to Manikowski, and here comes the Dragons. Bowenbacher. 
Back over. Manikowski out top. Kendig. Dragon's going to rotate it well. Nice bounce pass. Changing the play for the Dragons. Dragons do not have to rush anything here. They can take their time and get the high-quality shot like they did in the first quarter. Kendig, open, gives it to Diego. Feeds it right in, and there's a bucket, and that's what I'm talking about. Perfect transition from side to side of the court. Well, and the pass was perfect as well, and it just uh, led him right into the turn and the shot. And Lane Bonebacher causing havoc on <coughs> Reinhold there with his defense, and then he gets to the foul on that one. That's going to be Bolenbacher's first, first. be the Dragons' fourth team foul. All right. We're awful excited here at the <laughs> Phil Waybright Gymnasium. Big That's crowd tonight for this game. Goes around. Bolenbacher gets back with him. Reinhold picks it up and holds it. Spins it over. Kicks it down. Perez has it. Looks. Kicks it down. Reinhold's in position and puts it in for two. You got the spin on that yep. over top of uh, Kindig and uh, <laughs> Reinhold with four points now for the Zebras. Well, they got the play going. Kicks it over. Kindig. Vanderwill. Kicks it over to Bolenbacher. Fakes. Nice little ball fake. Kicks it over. Vanderwill says, I'll just take that little jumper. Misses. Rebound. Diego, and it's off the mark. Well, one and thing I've noticed yep. with the Zebras, you can get them off the ground. They'll, uh, they'll they go take up. those fakes. Yes, they do. They go up for it. Jump stop. Here's a quick long three, and it's going to be good. Trey Stasiak with the three-pointer for the Zebras, and they uh, cut the lead to four with 5.30, and Coach Mawson wants a timeout. Got a 30-second timeout on the floor. Stasiak with the three. 17-13, five minutes, 30 seconds left to go here in the first half. And well, uh, I told you, you can't fall asleep nope. on the Z's. They're going to uh, keep fighting back. And uh, they got it back to within four. Well, they've been covering uh, Ken Dig a little bit more on the outside to where he can't have that, I'm going to bomb a nice three in. and. But you got to look to get him the ball. Anybody that's that hot, you want him to keep shooting. Got a great student section here today. You can see the uh, the theme yeah, for the student night. section is pajama night. And we got Riddle, Jeremiah in for Vanderweel. Full court pressure. And Manikowski's going to turn. And that's not a foul. Oh, my goodness. And one. It's going to be Bolenbacher, and that'll be his second, the team's fifth. And that's going to put uh, Reinhold at the line, shooting the and one. Had well, a chance to bring the uh, Zebras to within one here. And he's... Uh, he was 0 for 2 the first time with the line. So hopefully that continues. It's going to be a hard, long battle. We said that from the get-go. 7 to 2 here to start the second quarter. The Zebras have outscored the Dragons and make that 8 to 2. Reinhold puts it in, and it's a one-point game. All right, here comes Manikowski across the timeline. Dragons need to get some little bit of confidence back. Momentum's changed a little. Manikowski fakes. Kindig gets it over to Riddle. Kicks it out. Nifong for three, and it's off the mark. Here comes the Zebras. Just that quick, they can take the lead back. He's blocks. Big defensive play yes. there by Diego. Kendig for three. In and out. Rebound goes to Diego tips it over to Nifong. Nifong has it. Kicks it out to Manikowski. Nifong. Riddle. Ball's loose. Gets it picked up. Ball's loose. Kicks it out, and Rochester comes away with it. 
Reinhold has it. Kicks it out. Drives down Perez for a baseline jumper, and it's off the mark. Rebound, Kindig. It's probably his fifth rebound already. And Manikowski's told to slow down, set up, and do the game right. Here he goes. Let's see if we can transition like they did for earlier. There's the pass. Riddle up and in for two. When they double team, there's somebody open, and Nifong finds Riddle, and he puts it in for two. Oh, Riddle struggled there the last play, and he uh, makes up for it there with the bucket. Perez has it, looks, kicks it down. Kicks it in the middle, Kindig. And misses, and rebound goes to Diego. Tyler Walker, that was a big, strong drive right there. Just doesn't get the roll. The Dragons uh, building on 19-16 uh, lead here. Manikowski, Kindig. Tries to get it, Riddle gets it down to Diego. Diego looks, kicks it out, Kindig for three, and it's just off the mark. Riddle battles, and Diego gets it, pulls it up, and he goes to the bucket, and he's no call, and the ball goes back to Rochester. Throws it at his feet, gets it back, Reinhold has it. Gonna drive, and the ball's knocked around. Shots up, and he's shooting two. Well, the Dragons are doing very well with keeping Reinhold off the books. They're going to get Riddle with that foul. It's his first. That's the team's sixth, and that's going to put Austin Utter at the line shooting uh, two shots. Well, a team that drives the line and drives to the bucket is going to get a lot of fouls, and it's showing right now. Utter is good on the first, makes it a two-point game. We've got uh, Vanderweel is going to come in for Ian Kindig. Kindig's earned the break. Coach Mossman just telling him, hey, relax. Take your time when you shoot it. Shots up, and it's off the mark. Riddle with another rebound. Kicks it over to Manikowski. So and one of two from the line. It's a 19-17 game. Here's the trapping defense. Gives it over to Riddle. Riddle looks. He had Diego. If he goes quicker, he needs to look underneath that basket. Fake high. Bounce pass around. Manikowski gets it. Vanderwill. Trap. Kicks it over to Manikowski. Gets it out. Looks. Nifong in the corner. Diego gets it. Oh, that's Riddle. Riddle with the move. Kicks it out to Manikowski. Drives up. A little jumper. And it's smooth as silk. And that's a great work from the Dragons. Manikowski with four points, and that's the lead, 21-17 for the Dragons. All right, Perez has it. Kicks it out, long three, and that's going to be good. That's Utter. That's his first three of the game. He's got six points for the Zs, and we're a one-point game right now. Well, the Dragons are going to keep on battling. Manikowski. Manikowski gets a lane. And gets up and misses. He had a double clutch around Reinhold that time and yep. lost control of the ball. Prez, Reinhold for three, and it's good. And the Dragons are down by two. That fast, it's done changed. And that's not going to be the last lead change of this game. Well, Utter and Reinhold, when they start warming up from outside the arc, they're a uh, dangerous uh, duo. Vanderwill, Diego turns, kicks it out. Riddle. Nifong. Nifong will say, I'll take it, and puts it in for two. I want to see Diego go ahead and take that on. Reinhold kicks the ball over. Nifong with his fourth point, ties the game up. We're uh, under a minute to go here in the first half. Been a fast-paced first half of action. <laughs> These boys are going to earn their drinks at halftime. They are going to be sucking some wind because they've been going nonstop end-to-end. High-speed, intense basketball. Glory, 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 glory. 
<laughs> Drag out the old boring. That used to be the chant of the day. There it is, a legal screen. Number three, he did. He held him bigger in the world, so. So Utter is going to get called with his first, only the team's fourth. Full court pressure. 12 seconds left here in the first half. See if the Dragons can get a good shot off before the half. Got uh, number 30, Bryce Abbott's going to check in for Reinhold. And there's a good idea. Kendig comes in, put the three man in. Let's see what happens. Now he shifts over to get on to Kendig right away. Kicks it over Manikowski. Manikowski gets around him. Diego puts it up, and the Dragons up by two. And it's blocked by Nifong, and the Dragons go into the halftime, leading 25-23 in a great half of basketball by both teams. That was uh, up and down the floor pace that uh, made me tired just watching <laughs> it. I don't know how the heck they're doing it. So we're going to take a quick break. We only had one commercial break that whole first half, Andy. We're going to take a quick break. I'll total up the first half stats here from uh, Phil Waybright Gymnasium and come back here in a wow. minute Man. with our uh, halftime show. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. At First Federal Savings Bank, we know that buying your first home can be an overwhelming process. The mortgage experts at First Federal Savings Bank will work with you from application to closing. At First Federal Savings Bank, we pay standard closing costs for our first-time home buyers. We offer free pre-approvals and local loan servicing throughout the life of your loan. Stop in and talk with one of our mortgage lenders and take the worry out of buying your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Hey everybody, I got exciting news. Country Lanes has a new state-of-the-art scoring system. Come out, let your kids be mesmerized by the animated backgrounds. Take a safari trip to Jungle Jive or an outer space adventure in Cosmic Crush. Themes like the Kecklers or High Seas will entertain your little ones for hours. Choose extreme sports or click on Ninja Strike for martial arts. This high-spirited atmosphere is way cheaper than Cedar Point. Come out and visit Country Lanes for all your bowling fun. All right, welcome back here. We are at the half at Phil Waybright Gymnasium. Argus Dragons lead 25-23 over the Rochester Zebras. Our uh, halftime stats, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Jordan Reinholdt leads all scorers with 10. Austin Utter has six. Trey Stasiak with three. Perez and Anfield all right. with two apiece. Uh, for the Dragons, Ian Kindig was uh, lights out in the first quarter, was three of four from three-point range, hit, has nine points to lead the Dragons. Uh, Manikowski, uh, Diego Corral, and Owen Nifong all with four for the Dragons. And then Vanderweel and Jeremiah Riddle have two points apiece to round out the scoring. It was a fairly clean uh, first half, only four turnovers for the Dragons. And I only had two for the Rochester Zebras. Well, yeah, the combined, just under 50 points between two teams, less than 10 turnovers, and less and right at 10 fouls. That was probably the fastest half a game we've watched all year long. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, they, we didn't get any time to do anything yeah. but talk and ramble as fast as we could to get this thing going because, man, was that fast-paced lights out and great stuff. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. 
Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Thanks for joining us. Scott Sager here with you with RTC TV4's Legal Minute, sponsored by Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins, LLP, here in Rochester. Today we have managing partner Ted Wagoner here with us. Welcome. Thank you, Scott. Glad Ted, to be here. Ted, what are we going to talk about today, legal-wise? Well, today I thought we'd talk a little bit about starting a business. Oh, excellent topic. Good. Um, as you know, businesses can be as simple as popping up a lemonade stand on the corner to the comp complexities of international corporations and we've all seen uh, businesses from all sizes. Yes. In our experience here in uh, Rochester and Fulton County we've uh, created hundreds of businesses for our clients. Okay. And in creating businesses you know we've got some experience and so we know how to help people decide what needs to be in the business what doesn't need to be in the business. Gotcha. What kind of business entity do you want? Do you want a, a proprietorship where you and uh, maybe friends or family are the owners uh -huh. or do you want something a little more formal so that you can make transfers of the ownership uh, and provide protection so that's what we're looking at Scott. interesting so um, <clears throat> there there are again a number of forms of business um, or companies or right formulations mm -hmm. of companies uh, partnerships LLPs LLCs S corps etc C corps C corps mm -hmm. right as if I'm an entrepreneur watching this right now and I'm thinking I'm going to start my business soon, mm -hmm. are those decisions made prior to even starting up the business and saying I'm going to give this a go? Those are decisions that need to be made at the earliest stages. Okay. Now if you're operating out of your garage for a few years, operating a body shop or an engine repair operation, mm -hmm. you may be able to do it for a, for a few months or a few years. But once you start to look at hiring an employee, mm -hmm or entering into some contracts, people are going to want to know that you're substantially in business. Yeah. And that's when you want to set it up, and set it up correctly. Interesting. Very good. So when folks are thinking about starting their own business, in, in any case, a lot of them would go to um, maybe a Fedco to start out to find out some information. Right. But mm -hmm. the legal entity of it, the you and your uh, firm here, can really provide some great startup information for them uh, based on your experience of starting hundreds of businesses here in Fulton County or helping to start exactly. these businesses here in Fulton County. Obviously, it's the business person who's starting the business, right. but we are facilitating, we're making sure they understand what they're doing. Occasionally, and more, more often than occasionally, I'll have somebody come in and say, here's a book of stuff I was given but I don't know what it means. Uh -huh. Do I have partners? Do I have other owners? Am I the president? Uh, or the Secretary of State sent me a notice saying I'm late on filing something. Mm -hmm. uh, what does that mean? Yeah. And that's what we make sure that all of our clients understand as they go through the process. Those very good points there, Ted, for sure. So Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins, if I have interest in a business or if I've received one of these letters about my business from the Secretary of State or Department of Treasury or one mm -hmm. of these, is that something that I can simply call in and try and get an appointment and you guys can, can help me sort it out and help me understand what I've got before me? Yes, all of the lawyers here are familiar with it. Okay. Uh, we can work with you. We can describe and discuss your situation either for a consultation fee or it may grow even bigger than that in helping you to solve the problem. Okay. When you do that, just give us a call. Uh, either speak, ask to speak with me or with Andy or with Rachel. Uh -huh. And um, uh, if you don't know who you want to talk to, our 
uh, capable staff will guide you to the right lawyer. Yeah. Now, do you see, um, uh, you, you, once you help someone to start their business, I'm sure that they retain attorneys to uh, help them run their business in some cases. Mm -hmm. Would you say that you're seeing a lot of new businesses and entrepreneurs coming in these days, let's say over the past five years? Uh, over the past five years, we've seen a nice uh, group of businesses open up. Yeah. Uh, of course, in the 2008, 9, 10 period, it was a little slow, although uh, statistics show that that's always the best time yeah. to open a business is when people are a little bit afraid because you're able to step in and, and meet a need that uh, other uh, potential entrepreneurs are just a little hesitant to get into. Right, so, right. But yes, we've, uh, we see a lot of this happening. Uh, we're glad to work with anybody when it's time to uh, address it, or even if you're just thinking about something I'm going to do in the next two or three years, uh, you'll, you'll have a better understanding when you're starting to plan your business plan, if you're going to sit down with your banker or with your accountant. Well, and, and yes, it always makes more sense to put uh, the ducks in a row before you get going here. Exactly. Um, Ted was he with us over at uh, mm -hmm. Fedco when I went through their next level course on uh, business entrepreneurs. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, you gave some very sage advice in the early days. One of those things was to uh, make sure that you focus on what your business is and not get lost in the extraneous that comes with it. In other words, don't uh, try to diminish your focus to a point where you want to try and be all things to all people. Stay focused on your business. It's hard to start out and be Walmart. Yes. You have to grow into that. <laughs> yes, you, you do. Know, you may want to start out and be a, uh, a one item or a two item shop yeah. before you grow beyond that. Yeah. That's a good point, Scott. Well, excellent, excellent. Well, all the lawyers here at uh, Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP in Rochester, uh, they are happy to help you. And uh, as we talked in one of the earlier segments, they've got a wonderful support staff mm -hmm. and uh, those ladies will take great care of you as well. So if you have any questions whatsoever regarding any facet of law, whether it be opening a business or helping with your business needs or uh, estate planning or family law, whatever the case, please give them a call here. You've got the website and your phone number on the screen. Ted, a pleasure. I'm sure we'll see you again on another one of our legal minutes here on RTC TV 4. Thank you, Scott. I uh, just want to remind people that we've designed this law firm to be here for your present and your future legal needs. Excellent. So they've been here for a while and they'll be here for a while to come. Over 50 years. Mm -hmm. Over 50 years. My goodness. Well, thank you again for your time today. All right. Thank you, Scott. and I'm sure everyone at home, that's just fast pace. From three-point bombs to a two-handed slam dunk to steals, rebounds, you name it. This game's had everything. Oh, man. Kenda gets it. Fakes over to Vanderwill. Turns, goes around two. Reinhold gives it over to Manikowski, who's wide open. And back around, Ken digs. Manikowski fakes. And Ken Diggs hanging out, rotates, and there's a foul right in his shoulder. All right, they're going to get Austin Utter with the foul. That'll be his second, second the first of the second half for the well, Zebras. Well, pretty much no one's in foul trouble because there was only a total of 10 in the first half between both teams. So that's a pretty good sign for a lot of action all the way to the end of the game. Manikowski has it. Nifong well, does have two for the Dragons. Uh, and they got two on uh, Abbott, but... That's not much for, there it is, a bucket for Manikowski. Not much for uh, foul trouble to be in the second half with only two. That's not six nowadays. for uh, Manikowski with uh, leading, the leading scorer for the Dragons. And uh, no, it's a four-point game. Kendig's got nine. No, he is the oh, overall okay. over, leading scorer. Overall, overall, yeah. over, overall. There you go. <laughs> Kendig out high. 
Not wanting to give up a three to these guys because they've done it the same well. Nice move. Puts it up, misses. Oh, and he gets the rebound and misses. And out of bounds, going to be Dragon's ball. That was a nice little post it was. there by Reinhold. Uh, went with his left hand, just came up a little bit short, but he kept it alive and uh, almost got the uh, put back. Well, and it was good defense just made him have to go up and over. Really didn't swing or anything to create the foul. So uh, Manikowski brings it across the timeline. Nifong has it. Looks to give it to Diego. Mawson started with Diego at second half instead of Thompson. Typically goes back to the starting five, but he uh, switched it up a little bit this time. And I think he realized he wants to try something else. Manikowski. Kindig. Manikowski with, gets it. Looks. Fakes. Nifong. Caddy corner, and it's a tipped out of bounds, and it's going to be Dragon's ball. Well, that pass isn't going to get past the 6'5", nope. Austin Hutter. <laughs> and that's what Austin's telling him. Hey, you're yeah. not going to do that. Yeah. Manikowski. Sees uh, Diego. Fakes. Oh. oh, and Kendig was going to the basket. Yep. Kendig going to the corner. Fakes and gives it to Nifong. Puts it up for two, and it's good. Great cut to the basket and a beautiful assist. Nice feed from Kendig. Nifong with six in the lead for the Dragons is six, 29-23. Perez, and it's blocked by Diego. That's the third one for Diego. Vanderwill, and the ball's knocked out of bounds, and Nifong's going to stay right here. That's he just smart. lets it go down and yeah. lets it go set up. Not going to get himself trapped in the corner by picking it up. Smart play there by Nifong. He knew it was tipped out by Rochester. Diego with a huge block at the other end. Gets it over to him. Looks to go back. Has the ball out top. Kicks it over. Kendig with the fake. Oh. And yes, Diego was on that little lofting pass. He would have been open. And he had the guy shielded away from the rim. Manikowski. Dragons do not need to be in a hurry. They need to take their time to get the quality shot. Gets it under Diego right there. He loses his hands. Ball's on the ground, and it's going to go out. Going to be Dragon's ball. Perfect little pass right there. Diego just kind of juggled it a little bit. There's a uh, lot of hands in there. <laughs> Tyler Walker is going to come in for uh, Hanfeld. And... Uh, Linkfelder is going to come into the well, game. Well, that helps the Dragons on the size comparison. So now Perez switches and moves himself 6-2 over to 6-5, 6-4 Kendig. Nifong gets it in. Vanderwill a little jumper, and it's oh. in and out. Oh. And that's a good quality shot. Nothing wrong with that. Just didn't fall. We saw that the other night in the girls' oh, game. Oh, we saw that a few times. Vanderwill. Reinhold's going to drive to the basket. Pulls up, kicks it over for three. And that's going to be off the mark. And ball's loose. And Manikowski's going to come up with it. Yep. They're going to get uh, number 23, Perez. Perez yep. And that'll be his first and the uh, team's second here in the second half. And now uh, that's a very good call. Good play. He let him go as long as he could, you know, because everybody was kind of battling. But when it come all the way across the arm, when Manikowski had his hand on the ball, it's an obvious foul. I love the intensity and the hustle out of these teams. This is just tremendous basketball. Manikowski, knife on the rotation, gonna go, kicks it over to Kendig, fakes. Uh oh. And throws it away, Perez. And knife on with a great defensive play, he breaks up the ball. And wow, Reinhold for three, and it's gonna be good. Ooh. But he broke up that big play. And he, they were able to recover and put it in for three. Nifong. And Kindig has not had an opportunity to shoot the three. Oh, what a pass. Puts it in, and that's a great work out of Nifong. Spun around three players, gets the ball in between two, and Kindig fix, uh, fishes it over to Diego, puts it in. Ball's too loose. Here comes a steal. Manikowski against Reinhold. And he gets fouled, and he's shooting two. Does not get the bucket, but he's going to shoot two. 
It's going to be Reinholdt's second foul. He's done well. He picked up one really early. Uh, first and, uh, minute. <laughs> yeah, this is only the second foul for him. Uh, third, smart players uh, control their bodies well, and he's a quality player. Third team foul for the Zebras. Banikowski at the line shooting two for the Dragons. First one is good. Banikowski with seven now. And the lead is back up to six. Well, they're switching players again, so I don't know if they're going to go with a little bit different speed, if they're going to try some uh, trapping next time down or what. But Coach Rochester is rotating players, trying to find the right combination. Manikowski is good for two. And here comes a sub. And Riddle's in, and Manikowski's out. And so that's going to leave it up to Nifong and uh, Vanderwill to bring it down. So a seven-point advantage for the Dragons with 3.15 left here in the third. So Riddle, they're going to work with the height, the three taller guys, battling on the defensive end. Long, quick shot, and it's way off the mark. Rex Reinhold at the foul. Gets the rebound in between all the tall guys, and it goes up and gets the foul. Got a box out. It's the standard basketball move. Use your body. Reinhold in the land of giants, as they say, and comes out with the ball. That foul is going to be and on And he's short. Man, he has been off from the free throw line tonight, which has been good for the Dragons. That would be uh, 0 for 2, 1 for 3, 1 for 4, I believe. And that, for him, is an oddity. And that one's good. Hits the second. Here's the press. Nifong. Kicks it over, and it's Riddle. Kicks it over to oh. Fakes. Oh, and it's stolen. Crossed the arms and it's stolen. What a fake, though. <laughs> yeah. Reinhold kicks it over. And there's tipped out of bounds, Nifong. And it's off of Rochester. Great hands from Nifong. Dragons save it on that one and bring it back with a great hustle effort from Nifong. Coach Malko is bringing a lot of pressure here. He knows Manikowski's on the bench. Riddle kicks it over. <laughs> That's a nice little move there yep. by Riddle. Kendig right there to Diego and puts it in for two. Great transition. And that's what the Dragons have got to do, bringing it back to an eight-point lead. And Diego has eight points for the Dragons. Shot, Reinhold and one. I'm going to get Kindig on the arm. Reinhold with the bucket. Super fast pace. We're loving the action. And Reinhold's going to have the and one opportunity. They called that one on Diego Correll, and uh, that's going to be his second. Reinhold with a chance to uh, cut into the lead. 35 29 wants to uh, make it a five point game. Manikowski's going to check back in. Riddle's going to oh, take Oh, great a seat. work from Riddle. That was good stuff from him, giving Manikowski a quick break. They're calling for a foul. <laughs> Anyways, they're calling for a foul over here. <laughs> and he puts it in. So three of six now for Reinholdt from the line. Nice. And there's Kendig. Puts it in for two. No foul. He didn't call the foul on that, and it should have been an and one. Travels. Travels. Turnover bigger than life right you there. You betcha. Another turnover. <clears throat> Seven point dragon advantage, less than two minutes left to go here in the third quarter. And a sub coming in, number 40, Tyler Walker is gonna check back in for Austin Utter. Sitting. All right, caddy corner, Ken Dig goes up. And misses. Tips it out, and Nifong's going to get it, and it's off of Rochester. It's going to be Dragon's ball. Kende can't buy a foul when he goes down low. You notice that? Oh, my word. Here we go. Kende fakes. 
kicks it over, and it's out of bounds, and it's turnover. And Vanderwill shouldn't trap. <laughs> the Moss is telling him, don't trap him in the corner like that. 37, 30, minute 36 left in the third. Dragons got to get another stop here. Nifong being smart, playing with two fouls. Comes across. Caddy corner and just about throws it out of bounds. A good save. In the corner. Plays it low. Diego. Hands in. And they're going to call a foul on Vanderweel. The initial play was loose ball, but then they called him for a reach in. That's going to be Vanderweel's first foul and only the third team foul for the uh, Dragons. It's been a great game for control of everything with both teams, and there's a nice play in a bucket. That was a good inbounds pass. Walker gets the bucket. That's his first points of the game, and we have a five-point ball game, 37-32. Diego might be coming out for the first time since he's been in. No foul. Gee Willikers, I tell you what, reaching in. Braden Thompson's going to be subbed in. Kendig, fakes. Nifong, Manikowski, Vanderwill. Look at them rotate the ball well. And Nifong just says, we'll step out and reset. We're in no hurry. 44 seconds left. They need to look inside. They got that backside wide open with Diego if they just throw that pass. Kendig, fakes. Oh, and a nice ball fake from Manikowski. And he's tripped. Foul. Oh. Uh, that's a play right there. Yep. When as soon as you hear that whistle, you, you throw, throw it. the ball up <laughs> looks towards like, the rim. It looks make like, it look you're, like shooting. you're shooting it. And so Diego's taking a break. Thompson's back in. 30 uh, Abbott and number five Caden Bixler, a six foot sophomore, check in for. And the now Zebras. they put in uh, number three Utter back in, right? Nope. Take yes. Ryan hold out here for the defensive side. Put Utter back in since Thompson's back in. Screen, and Ken Dick has it. Right back to Nifong, and he's fouled, and he's shooting two. I think they're going to get That's Abbott. On, uh, Abbott or Utter, one of the two. Abbott from behind. Yep. Utter was clean on the block, but uh, Abbott got him from behind. That's going to put Owen Nifong at the line, shooting two for the Dragons. And that's Abbott's third. And the Dragons need these, and the first one's off. Nifong's been kind of hot and cold. He's yep. had nights where he's done really well from the line, and he's had other nights where uh, he has struggled. So. Well, the Dragons need this one. 23 seconds left. That was only his first attempt from the line here tonight. Well, Dragons uh, get this one. you got to set up a good quality defense because Rochester has plenty of time to get a quality shot off. And that one's in the mark. One of two for Nifong from the line. Ryan Holt, and here comes a little bit of a pressure. Travel. Travels. He totally traveled. Uh, <laughs> and it's blocked by Nifong. How could they not call a travel? Did you see him down here? He jumped and did land and never got rid of the ball. <laughs> yeah, well, what a block by Nifong. Yeah, the sports writer decides to show up late. You know how they are. When all the action's here. Yeah. Manikowski. Shots up. Thompson. And it's going to be Dragons basketball with six seconds left. 5.9, Andy. Yeah, it's close enough. <laughs> Manikowski is going to hustle down. Thompson. Shot for three. Oh, Ooh, it just about gets in. All right, after three quarters of play here at Phil Waybright Gymnasium, the Dragons lead 38 to 32 over the Rochester Zebras. We're going to take a break and come back here in just a moment for fourth quarter action. You're watching RTC4.com, Channel 4 in Rochester. At First Federal Savings Bank, we can help you remodel your home, consolidate debt, or even provide some spending cash for you with our home equity line of credit. Our standard home equity line of credit allows borrowers to draw funds for up to 10 years and comes with no closing costs for qualified customers. Take advantage of this great opportunity. Contact one of our experienced mortgage lenders or apply online at firstfederalbanking.com. 
And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. All right, eight minutes left to go here in regulation at Phil Waybright Gymnasium. Argus Dragons lead 38-32 over the Rochester Zebras. And, uh, Andy, this has been a uh, great oh, game. Oh, it's been amazing. I love great, it. Great crowd, great pep lock, great uh, competition between the two teams. And uh, we're coming down to the last eight minutes here. See if the uh, Dragons can hold on to their six-point advantage. Well, they battled. They let them get back in it. It was a good quality play out of Rochester, and they battled back to get a lead, and they've been managing the game quite well. Turnovers, bare minimum for both teams again this half. This is Indiana basketball at its finest. Well, Fast pace, few turnovers, few fouls, just great quality chances. A lot of buckets going in. It's, it's just good stuff. The Dragons were up seven after the first. They lost uh, most of that lead were up two after the half and uh, got it back up to six here. So we'll see what we can do in the last eight minutes. Ken Diggs going to be on Ryan Holt for a while. Here's a three, and it's in and out. Ball's in and rebound. Loose. Shot. Good shot fake. Got Manikowski in the air, and he's going to earn a trip to the line. That's Trey Stasiak. Manikowski will pick up his second foul. Good offensive rebound there by the 5'10 uh, sophomore. Well, I tell you what, been a mixed bag for Rochester. He's had, what, almost every person on his roster, in and out and in and out. Stasiak's good on the first. Cuts the lead to five. And one more free throw coming up here for the sophomore. Pressure free throw, and he makes the first one. Second one's up, and it's good. And it's no good. He stepped over the line. He sure did. It's the little things that in the game can make a big difference. Well, we'll see if that comes back to cost them. They lost yeah. a point right there. And that's good for the Dragons. But, yeah, just a little stuff so once in a while. And we see that every sport. We remember when uh, that last time out, basketball college, and you don't have any. Yeah. Kendig, and he's fouled. There he Shoot gets a two. foul call. Good transition. Dragons did it quickly with quality passing. 24, Calvary Lingenfelder, mm -hmm. the six-foot sophomore, picks up his first it's going to be the sixth team foul on the Zebras, and Ian Kindig at the line shooting two for the Dragons. Well, Kindig's quality from the line. Let's see what he has for us tonight. And it's in. I tell you what. 9, 11, <laughs> 12 for Kindig. Nice, quiet, and relaxed shot. Been a little cold, but hasn't really taken any threes from second half. And it's in. Two, ice two. water. Ice water in his veins. Got to like it. Leads back up to seven for the Dragons. 7.30 left. Caddy corner and looks down. Wants it low. Utter and Reinhold. Here's a quick three, and it's short. Long rebound and out of bounds in Dragons basketball. <clears throat> well, Stasiak was open. Just come up a little short on the three, and it goes out of bounds for the Dragons. I haven't seen uh, Utters only take a one the second half that I noticed, and uh, Reinholtz had two made one so far. Thompson kicks it over. Manikowski, Vanderwill opens itself up. Kendig, Thompson, right over to Nifong, puts it in for two. Great, Great work, great transition from the Dragons. Nifong with uh, nine points now for the Dragons, and that's a nine-point Dragon lead. Foul? No, they don't call it. Man, I thought for sure he got fouled, but he puts in the bucket anyways under the high pressure. Utter with a quality bucket drive. Caddy corner, Ken Digg puts it in for two. What a cross-court pass. I and told you that they back side just, is open. They're just not able to contain the Dragons, and they're making quality cuts to the basket. Reinhold for two, and it's in. Well, the Dragons don't mind trading baskets at the moment, but they got to make sure they keep putting them in. But when you're doing nothing but bunnies and layups, it sure does up the chances of keeping that lead. That's 19 points now for the senior Jordan Reinhold. 
Manikowski open for three, and it's good! Sam Manikowski with 11 now for the Dragons. Back to a 10-point advantage. I think that's the largest lead of the game for the Dragons. Reinhold's going to match him, and he does not. The ball's on the ground. Thompson. They're going to call travel. Yeah, that, that's good hustle, yeah, though, there by the good uh, sophomore. He couldn't help but roll. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it didn't really have possession until he grabbed it, but then not really that time. And we got a timeout. A full timeout full on the floor. Timeout. We're going to take a break and come back here in just a minute. RTC Fiber Communications is now serving the community of Argus. Now you can enjoy the incredibly fast speed and reliability of fiber internet. Stream movies, surf the web, or watch your favorite local videos on rtc4.com. All from RTC Fiber Communications, now serving Argus. Give RTC a call today or check us out online at www.rtc1.com. All right, welcome back. 5.38 left to go here in the ball game. 10-point Argus Dragon lead, 47-37. And uh, what? I don't know. You're killing me, Smalls. I tell you what, great, uh, great set of basketball. Both teams are playing outstanding. Great control. Lots of fast-paced stuff. When you... Dive on the ground and kill yourself for a rebound and they call you travel because you're rolling after the ball. You know what? I can handle that. That's fine by me. That's yep. just good old-fashioned rough and tough ball, and that's what you want. Reinhold throws it in, and Utter's having issues handling it. Gets it back to Reinhold. Didn't have possession, Three, so it wasn't and it's off the mark. Rebound. Reinhold comes away with it. The ball's loose. Muscles Manikowski, and there's a foul. Going to get Kindig on that foul. It looks like that'll be his first foul of the game. And the sixth team foul for the Dragons. Fifth team foul for the Dragons. Well, the, everybody's a little tired, a little flustered, because it's just super fast. And now it's starting to wear thin. I didn't know if Utter was, uh, was going to be able to get a hold of that ball when it was first inbounded to him. Nice. Gets that one. And it's blocked from behind. And they're going to shoot two. You know, he was clean up top, top but, but he had saw his, his hand left uh, hand. I was resting on the body. Yep. And when you put your hand out and put it on their back, they're calling a shove no matter whether or not you do it. So that's going to be Vanderweel, and that'll be his second. And that's going to put uh, Utter at the line, shooting two for the Zebras. And he's short. And I tell you what, like I'm talking about, a little bit tired. And he's now he's <laughs> the old angry at yourself. Is it running? We got issues. Yeah, it's running now. Amy said we're having trouble streaming, and so is Manikowski. And shots in. <clears throat> Knife on. Timeout. All right, timeout for the Dragons. And it's going to be 30 seconds. All righty, we'll take a break. Come back here in 30 seconds. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, yep. business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. All right, 520 left to go in the game. Got a uh, nine-point Argus Dragon lead when they got the ball. Manikowski has it. Comes across time. And don't want to pick up your dribble right there. And Coach Lawson's uh, going to bail Manikowski out with a timeout right there. That is the... Uh, Bad right. place to uh, pick up your dribble. So we're yep, gonna full timeout. So we'll take a break and be back here in 60 seconds. 
At First Federal Savings Bank, we know that buying your first home can be an overwhelming process. The mortgage experts at First Federal Savings Bank will work with you from application to closing. At First Federal Savings Bank, we pay standard closing costs for our first time home buyers. We offer free pre-approvals and local loan servicing throughout the life of your loan. Stop in and talk with one of our mortgage lenders and take the worry out of buying your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Alrighty, full time out on the floor by Coach Mawson of the Argus Dragons. It's a 47-38 ball game, 5.15 left to go. Dragons are uh, gonna have the ball coming out of the timeout. Well, I tell you what, you can't say enough about Reinhold for the Zebras. That kid is a workhorse, and he shows with his stats. Where's he at, 19, 20 points now? Uh, 19, I think. 19? Yep. And Manikowski has it. It's going to come across time wide. You know, more impressive to me, uh, besides the 19 points, has uh, been his defense. Yep, all the little things. Vanderwell gets it. Layup for Nifong. Fakes. Puts it up anyways. Misses, and he's fouled. I think they're going to get number 24, yep. Lingenfelder. That'll be his second. And Nifong's going to shoot two. One of two so far for the evening. All right, like you said, uh, all these free throws now are huge for the Dragons. Because yeah, five minutes is plenty of time, and the first one's in. Gets the roll. And uh, transition, Thompson's out, and Diego's in. And that's a good work, a good call. Braden Thompson, when he subbed in Diego, he put in a good shift. Wow. And transition, somebody stepped over the line. 31 white. So uh, the Dragons give that point back that uh, the Zebras gave up. <laughs> so now we're even. Way to go, Diego. Go, go, Diego. Here we go. 3-2 zone. Utter. To Reinhold, and he, oh, and he Ooh. loses. Just looked away on it. from it. Looked away. Before he caught the ball. Gives it over to Manikowski. Nifong. Diego. Kicks it over to Manikowski. Dragon's going to set up the play. Here comes a trapping defense. Diego. Manikowski. Ball's loose and now right comes Ryan Hold. And Nifong lets him go without fouling. Dragons up by eight. Kendig. Oh. And that's a silly play and a great read by Utter. Good work, Utter. Kicks it over. Travels. Nope. Going to call the foul on Manikowski. Yeah, Kendig made a mistake right there. Yeah, He's he had draw. all kinds of time. He could dri yeah. dribble to him and then dish it off. Yeah, he Utter was uh, reading that, and he went back for the pass, and he's got to make Utter come to him. Well, I tell you what. Can't say enough about this basketball game. I want to thank everybody down there at RTC4 for allowing us to do this. I know everyone's watching, and this has just been a great game all the way around. Huge free throws. Reinhold giving his teammate boost of confidence before he gets to the line. Allen, the sophomore, at the line. So this is a one-and-one, one, right? Should be a one-and-one. One. These are huge, and he misses. And the ball's loose, and Rochester, long rebound, gets it. Utter's going to drive in, pulls up, shot, and it's off of Reinhold, Dragon's ball. Yeah, it was tipped. <laughs> yeah, Reinhold's saying it was tipped, but it was tipped off of you. So uh, it's going to be Dragon's ball. So Kendig's in still. Thompson comes in for Diego. Kendig gets it. Gives it to Manikowski, and he's going to go with the layup. And he misses the layup. Simple, uh, makes a great ball to the basket and misses it. Utter's going to drive. Vanderwill stays this grounds, and Manikowski gets a rebound. Foul from behind. They're going to get Stasiak for the foul, and that's going to put uh, Manikowski at the line, shooting one and one. Well, Manikowski needs to put these free throws in. He's not going to be happy with himself on that layup. It was a great drive to the bucket, and I think he was just anticipating a foul and lost his focus on the shot. He was. He was looking for contact yep. that never came, and uh, it just threw him off just a little bit. 
Manikowski, quality shooter. No problem right here. Put the Dragons up by 10. And he gets the first one to go. Crucial, crucial free throw. Nine points. Six, nine, 12 points. 13. Oh, and he misses. And Nifong, Vanderwill can't get it. Rochester has it. Here comes Reinhold. 3.45 left in the game. Kicks it over in the corner. Utterman jumps. Drives. Kendig misses and rebound Kendig. Kicks it over to Manikowski. He's got him beat. And he gets stolen from uh, number four, Allen. Comes up behind him. And there's a timeout by Rochester. I think Manikowski was trying to trying pull to, it back out and yeah. run some clock, but he got too far down, and uh, there was too many zebras around him to get it pulled back out. So turnover for the Dragons, and with 3.18 left to go, it's a 49-40 ball game. we got a timeout on the floor. You're watching RTC4.com and Channel 4 in Rochester. Hey, everybody, I got exciting news. Country Lanes has a new state-of-the-art scoring system. Come out, let your kids be mesmerized by the animated backgrounds. Take a safari trip to Jungle Jive or an outer space adventure in Cosmic Crush. Themes like the Kecklers or High Seas will entertain your little ones for hours. Choose extreme sports or click on Ninja Strike for martial arts. This high-spirited atmosphere is way cheaper than Cedar Point. Come out and visit Country Lanes for all your bowling fun. All right, welcome back. 3.18 left to go in the game, and the Dragons holding on to a nine-point advantage over the Rochester Zebras. <clears throat> Got a timeout on the floor. It's going to be Rochester ball coming out of the timeout. Well, you know what? The coach, I think, Rochester just says, hey, let's get a breather. We've got three minutes. We're going to have to give it everything we got at the end to catch up. And uh, it's, it's here we go. It's going to be fast-paced. It's going to help them all. Rochester's ball. Utter's getting tired. You can tell that. Manikowski is getting tired for the Dragons. I'm getting tired. I'm just sitting here. This is a <laughs> fast-paced game. I tell you, we never played like this. This is some quality quickness. 3-16 as he comes across the timeline. <clears throat> Kicks it out. Fakes. Drives. Little jumper. Off the mark. Rebound, Manikowski, oh. and he loses his hands, and oh, his tipped out of bounds. It was, it was tipped out of bounds. He tipped it out of bounds, and it's... Allen gets the... Uh, knocks it out off of Manikowski. Yeah, that's a good call. I mean, it looked like Manikowski threw it out, but it makes sense that it hit his hand. And he loses it there. And I don't... Rochester, I hope they don't start just trying to shoot threes. That or they're going to feed it down to Reinhold as much as possible. But it almost looked like they pulled it out to take a three. Shots up and it's good. Reinhold with 23 now for the Zebras. And the press breaks on. Nifong's got position and it's tipped out of bounds. Dragons are getting sloppy with the ball. Shot way off. Rebound. And there's a foul, number three, Utter. They got Stasiak on that. Well, Coach Mawson was wanting a foul on Nifong from behind, which it surely looked like it when his arm went up above the ball and he lost control. Looked like it was forced that way, but Dragons Big, uh, are okay. Seven-point lead at the free throw line with Braden Thompson, first time at the line tonight. And a short, Kendig. Can't get it. And the ball's lost, and Reinhold picks it up. Dragons just need to settle down and play what they've done all night. There's a push. Oh, he calls the timeout. I thought it was going to be a foul with a shove, but they uh, called the timeout before. All right, we got a timeout by Coach Malco of the uh, Zebras. We'll be back in 30 seconds. At First Federal Savings Bank, we can help you remodel your home, consolidate debt, or even provide some spending cash for you with our home equity line of credit. Our standard home equity line of credit 
allows borrowers to draw funds for up to 10 years and comes with no closing costs for qualified customers. Take advantage of this great opportunity. Contact one of our experienced mortgage lenders or apply online at firstfederalbanking.com. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. All right, 203 left to go in this one. Andy, it's been a great game here with the uh, first time since 1996 these two teams have met. I hope we don't wait that long again. This has been an awesome game. Well, I tell you what, these teams are evenly matched with pace and quality. And right now, Dragons are up by seven. Rochester has the ball. And they're going to bring it across the timeline after he makes the throw in. Kicks it over. Dragons need to make them work some clock here. Can't let them get something quick. Ryan Holt. Ball's loose. Manikasi is going to get it. And it's tied up, and it's going to go Dragons basketball. Good uh, hustle play there by Sam Manikowski. And Ryan Holt, I, you know what? I have a ton of respect for him. He gets up, and he's, he just says, ah, that's my fault. Takes ownership. Uh, that's just good stuff. What a heart out of the great competitor. Kendig, wide open, kicks it over to Nifong. Vanderwill, Manikowski. Dragons just need to settle down, do what they were doing earlier with smart passes, moving and cutting to the basket. And there it is. Moving the ball quickly. Nifong, Thompson, Manikowski. Nifong kicks it over to Kendig. Kendig wide open for the three and says, I'm going to run the clock. Braden Thompson waits till he commits and then passes it. Good stuff out of the Dragons. And there's a foul. Utter with the foul on Vanderwill. And that is a perfect running of that play. I think that is the actual best I've ever seen us run that play. It's just very, very smart. Well, they ran about 30 seconds on yes. the clock, too. Well, it's just, and, and all Rochester could do was foul them because yeah, they, couldn't, they couldn't do anything. Waiting till the, the defender totally committed. Got close and then just passed right around him, and that is just outstanding stuff. Lane Bowenbacher is going to check back in, and that's a huge free throw by Vanderweel. And Thompson's out, and Bowenbacher's back in. Vanderweel with uh, three points all on free throws here tonight. Well, He's we'll got take the uh, Dragons back up by eight. Chance to extend it to nine here. And he does. Woo! Smooth as silk. And they're going to let it bounce as long as they can. Nifong's going to cover Reinhold. Kicks it out. Utter going to drive in and misses. Kindig and Manikowski with the rebound, and he's fouled quickly. Is that going to be Utter with his fourth? And Reinhold and Utter trying to get the guys rallied up. Here's Coach bringing them over before they go down underneath the basket. For Nick Allen. Manikowski at the line. Very impressed with the uh, performance of uh, the Dragons here tonight, Andy. They've, oh, yeah. uh, they've battled hard. You know, they've been playing excellent ball ever since uh, that Winnemac game. I mean, they just battled a tough Winnemac team all Ooh. the way through. And uh, I tell you what, they're going to be a tough team the rest of the season. They keep playing like this. Yeah, the Dragons are really improving quickly, and their composure, they're showing very, very good maturity with the ball. And Manikowski's 0 for 2 at the end, right when we needed him most, but we're going to see what we can do. Ryan Holt drives, goes around, lays it up with ease, misses. Rebound, Manikowski. And Ryan Holt's trying his best. The guy's giving everything he's got. And Ken Dig, look, Ken Dig gets up and says, hey, man, that's great, great battle. Gives him five as he goes back to the other end. It's going to be the third on <laughs> Ryan Holt. And Coach Mawson brings Manikowski over and tries to set him down. I don't know what he said, but Manikowski started laughing. So sometimes it's just those little things to get your mind off of it. And that's good. All right, Sam Manikowski, 6 points, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Make it 14 here, 10-point Dragon lead now, 55.3 left. And does. Two for two. And he looks right over the Mawson and smiles at him. 
<laughs> Mawson must have said something to settle him down. <laughs> Made him laugh to get his mind off of it. Dribble shot, and it's blocked. Mm -hmm. Used his body before the shot was up, but it was a good block anyways. It's going to be Van or, uh, yeah, Vanderwiel's third, and that's going to put Lingenfelder at the line shooting two for the Dragons. No score uh, scoreless so far for the sophomore Lingenfelder. Well, what a battle, I tell you. And it's off. Well, the sophomore coming in and having a battle of such a game and then high pressure free throws. And that one's out. Kendig with the rebound and he's battled and it's Jump ball. It's going to go Rochester. That was a good play there yeah, by Utter. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. And it's going to be Rochester's ball. Yeah. Kendick got the worst of the wear for that <laughs> one. But uh, hey, it's, yeah. it's paddled, part of the battle. Yeah. Everybody wants it. And they're wiping. <laughs> the kids the are working hard when the official has to wipe the sweat off of it when it's a WrestleMania on a jump uh, ball call. That might be you got to love that. That might be from Kendick's nose. <laughs> it's a booger ball. Utter kicks it over. Ryan Holt's going to drive. Stands him up and makes him shoot from a uh, little bouncer off of the glass. Manikowski. Jump ball going to be Dragons. And Moss is going to tell him not to put it in the corner. Look at Kendig out back. Kendig's not covered. And he's fouled before he even gets there. Nick Allen's going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second. Manikowski shooting. Double bonus. When the double. Well, I tell you, I'm thoroughly impressed with both teams tonight. They have left it all out on the court. We still got 31 seconds. Dragons up by 10. Manikowski make it 11. And there he does. Misses two and then hits four straight. 16 points for Sam Manikowski, and it's 11-point lead again with 28 seconds left. And that's a great rebound. Reinhold puts it up, and he gets it to roll in. And full timeout. 27 points for Jordan Reinhold. We're going to take a break and be back in 30 seconds here on RTC4.com. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. All right, welcome back. We got 21.7 left to go here from Phil Waybright Gymnasium. Dragons with a nine point advantage. Rochester's hanging around. They're trying to uh, keep in this thing, but I think the uh, Dragons have uh, outlasted the Zebras here tonight. Once it gets possession back in, then they go ahead and switch it over. There you go. Don't pull up after the line. Good job there by Manikowski. He stopped. kept himself from being trapped. Yep. He stopped before he hit that line and uh, went back to the middle of the floor. Riddle's going to check back in for the Dragons. I think Riddle will come, probably come in on the defensive end. Maybe for Bowenbacher, not real sure. And Sam's. And out comes Ken Dig. That kid has had a tremendous game tonight. Kind of got shut down for most of the fourth uh, or second half. Didn't really put much up and in. But tremendous first half to get the Dragons going. 
and Manikowski puts that one in. Reinhold kicks it over. Utter for three. And it's good. Nice shot. Under pressure. Riddle says, I got it. <laughs> Smart play, Riddle. He was going to throw it down, and he's like, you know what? He looks at the clock, says, I'm just dribbling. I'm going to eat it up as much as possible. Well, they foul him with .7 seconds left. He just wanted to get himself on that free throw line again. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, congratulations to both teams, but uh, Dragons earn it, and Riddle misses the first one. And uh, <laughs> .7. And there goes Manikowski and Vanderweel. Number 41, Colin O'Dell, and number 33. Oh, Ellis. 30, is Ellis? Yep. Okay. And Riddle misses that one. And there's the throw. And that's a great game, a good ending. <clears throat> Dragons battle through it. The final score, 56-49, Argus with the win. Dragons will move to 8-2 and two on the year. And uh, Rochester will fall to six and five for the season. We're going to uh, total up the scoring for both teams and come back here with our post game show in just a moment. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century online at rtc1.com first federal savings bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout north central indiana trust the professionals at first federal savings bank online at firstfederalbanking.com protect yourself from personal attack on campus in the home at the mall or wherever you are Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn the basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. RTC Fiber Communications is now serving the community of Argus. Now you can enjoy the incredibly fast speed and reliability of fiber internet. Stream movies, surf the web, or watch your favorite local videos on rtc4.com. All from RTC Fiber Communications, now serving Argus. Give RTC a call today or check us out online at www.rtc1.com. Are the other guys offering you less than you expect for your trade-in? At Shepard Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, they trade your way, offering you top dollar for your trade-in vehicle. Hi, I'm Chris Smith, PJ Tour player and Rochester native. Shepard's prides themselves on giving you the highest amount possible for your trade. If someone is giving you less than you expect, come out to Shepard's and give them the opportunity to find a deal that works for you. Shepard's Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, where they trade your way. All right, welcome back here to the post-game show where the Dragons pick up a huge win tonight over the uh, Rochester Zebras by a score of 56 to 49. Uh, 12 turnovers for the Dragons, uh, five in the fourth quarter, only eight turnovers in the game for the Zebras. And leading all scores tonight, the senior Jordan Reinholdt with 27. Uh, Austin Utter put in 12 for the Zebras. Troy, uh, Trey Stasiak put in four. Perez, Anifeld, and Walker all had two for the Zebras. Uh, for the Dragons, Sam Manikowski led them with 17 points. Ian Kindig had 15. 
Uh, Diego had eight. Owen Nifong had ten. Uh, Lucas Vanderwill with four and Jeremiah Riddle with two to round out the scoring for the Dragons. It was a tough, hard-fought uh, victory uh, for the Dragons and uh, well-deserved. I, I don't know if this is a series that is going to continue. I didn't really talk to the athletic director from either school about it. But um, I tell you what, they hadn't played since 1996, and uh, it was well worth the wait here tonight to watch the uh, Dragons and the Zebras compete. Hopefully they can continue this series. It was very close to the uh, approxima approximation between the two schools, only about 15 miles apart. So, well, we were going to uh, see if we could get Coach Moss in, uh, up here from the Dragons, but uh, he's uh, busy. So uh, we'll have to do that another time. Do appreciate everyone who tuned in to tonight's broadcast. For Andy Stone, Blake Thomas on camera, this is Steve Stricker saying goodnight from Argus. Yeah.